This is weird synergy here. I'm hanging out with the quarterback of my favorite football team. Let's go. Jimmy Garoppolo joining us, quarterback of the Raiders. I'm Jason Fitz hanging out. Jimmy G, I know you're here with us with USAA. We'll get to that in a minute, but we got to start with my fandom. Come on, man. It's my interview. Uh, look, I take these wins and losses really personally during the fall. So just give it to me real, man. Am I going to have a good fall this year? Oh, it's going to be a good fall, man. Yeah. I mean, we're starting off on the right foot here with this interview. Uh, but yeah, we uh, it's been a good training camp. Guys are in a good mindset, uh, good preseason, but now it you know starts to get fun now. So we're excited about it. It's going to be a fun year. Talk to me a little bit about that training camp mindset for you, because we all know that you come from San Francisco at this point, but we expect quarterbacks to be leaders. How do you walk into a room of guys that have already been together and sort of assert your own personality in that room? Uh, I've always been a big believer. You got to be natural with it. Uh, you can't really fake it. You can't be something that you're not and come in here with all this fake energy and things like that. You got to, uh, just let it flow. Let it, let you be yourself. And I think guys, uh, guys respect that and kind of gravitate towards that in a way. So it's been a, you know, been a fun experience. Great group of guys, obviously in this, this locker room, tight knit group. You could tell they've been through some stuff together. It's, it's, um, it's everything I was hoping it was going to be when I was when I signed here. So it's it's been a it's been a fun ride. You mentioned tight knit group. Josh Jacobs just added to that tight knit group. What's that mean for you guys coming into this season? Means a lot. Means a lot. Uh, you could tell just the the building atmosphere was a little different yesterday. Having him back, seeing him around, I got to meet him for the first time. Uh, great energy. You could just see he's he's ready for football, man. Uh, not going through training camp. I'm sure his body feels fresh as fresh as can be. So um, now it's it's going to be a fun year with him. I'm excited to get to work and really just uh, let our relationship start to grow now. So when you are the new starting quarterback of a team, how long till you can control the aux cord? Like how long till you can take over the music in the locker room? Really? I, uh, I'm not an aux guy, man. I don't know. if you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, I like some old school music. This, all these, these young guys, man, they're playing all this new music, all this new rap and everything. But uh, no, it's, we got a good mix. We got some good guys on the aux cord. Max does a good job of, uh, you know, setting the tone for us, especially on game day. So it's, um, I'll get that. I'll get there eventually. You mentioned setting the tone. Max, obviously famous for that. What's the tone been like this year in practices for you guys as a team? Yeah. Uh, intense. Intense is probably a good word for it. Uh, I mean, training camp is just one of those things you, uh, you start off as friends and, by the end of it, after a month of hitting each other and going against the same defense all the time, you you know, you, it gets a little chippy at times, but uh, in a good way, I would say. It's the best teams I've been on, it gets chippy in training camp because you're sick of hitting each other, you're sick of doing the same thing. You want a new opponent, and uh, we started to get to that towards the end of the, this training camp, so I got really excited from that. You also have a lot of familiarity, obviously, with Josh McDaniels from New England. For you, coming back to an offense that you've been a part of before, what's been the biggest challenge? Um, biggest challenge. I'd say just flipping the mindset. I mean, this offense versus uh, the Niners offense, just a different mindset of what you're trying to attack, who you're trying to attack. Um, there's similar schemes, but how you're going about it is just different, like the mental approach to it. So I think that was uh, initially the biggest thing that I had to flip in my mind. But now that we've done that, uh, it's really just about getting on the same page with the guys. When we see this coverage, how are they going to run the route? Uh, the line, me helping them, them helping me. It's it's about tying in all the little things right now. All the little pieces are coming together. How long does it really take? Because we always hear quarterbacks and receivers talk about rhythm and trying to get that stuff down during camp. You hear about off season and how much it, it means. So for you coming in, how long does it take to really get comfortable, not with the offense, but with the guys in the offense and the way they like to run? Uh, it's a feel thing, honestly. It's It's one of those things, it's hard to put your finger on it but you know when it's when it clicks. Uh, there's been moments here and there throughout training camp where you're like, damn, that's that's it right there. And love that. Need need more of that. But uh, it's just, it's a feeling. And I think going through, uh, when you go to war together, I mean, when you go to these Sunday games and you're out on the field in that huddle in the middle of the fourth quarter, you look in the huddle and you see guys' eyes, that really goes a long way in knowing, all right, this guy's made of the right stuff. He's, he's ready for this moment type of thing. And I think all those added together, uh, that's what gets you on the same page. That's what builds your relationship as players, as, as people. And uh, I'm a big believer in that, man. Those relationships take you a long way. I think fresh starts are also interesting to me, Jimmy, just in general for every player, right? So for you, you come from San Francisco, you go to Vegas, you can sort of decide who you want to be. Like, how does your experience already in the league help you decide how to handle yourself in this moment? 
Uh, it's it, it helps you grow. I think every every player has a different you know story how they get to where they are and what they do while they're there. But um, it's never going to be easy. That's one thing I've learned in the, in the NFL. It's never going to be easy. There's always going to be some bumps in the road, and you really just got to keep uh, keep rolling with the punches, man. I mean, it's how you uh, how you bounce back from those things, how you accept you know when you do good. You don't want to get too cocky. You don't want to get too high. You want to. Uh, Kind of just always be calm right down the middle and that's that's what i've tried to do throughout my career and it's done well for me so uh, it's got to be a little weird let's be real here i mean we all saw the brady video going down the tunnel right so you go from playing with brady now he's part of the ownership group is it weird looking over and being like hi tom <laughs> uh, uh not weird it was, it was cool seeing him in the locker room uh same old dude dude loves ball you could tell the competitor in him it's coming out a little bit, even for just a preseason game. I mean, he's telling us to go ruin their day. Uh, <laughs> it was nice having him around, man. Just he's good vibes. He's good people. Um, it's only going to do good for our organization having a winner like that around. Does it? Does do you feel that organizationally, like the ownership group and everything? Because fans like like me, man, I'm an idiot sitting in front of a mic, right? Like I make a big deal about everything. But when you're a player, do you just sort of shut that out, or does it matter? Is culture really created from the top down? Uh, no, I think it's created from the top down. I mean, it, obviously in the locker room, it's a little bit of a different story. That's that's the players. They're going to do what they do. But I think throughout the entire building, that, that's real, man. I mean, you feel it uh, when it comes to the, it's just the small as the custodian. Is he, you know, pushing as hard as the guy creating the balls for you to the coach that's calling plays? I mean, it's all as crazy as it sounds, it's all tied together. There's a rhythm to it. There's a energy to it. And I'm a big believer in that. So it's this building's made of the right stuff. You got good people around here, uh, people that want to win. That's that's what it's all about, man. How much did you have awareness of that when you decided to sign with the Raiders? Because I think free agency is such an interesting thing, right? You're at that spot where you can decide wherever you want to go. The Raiders make an offer. How much did all of the that sort of factor into your decision to want to be there in the first place? Uh, a, a great deal, honestly. I mean, I, and it's hard to gauge. I mean, I came in on one one day visit, so it's hard to gauge all that at once. But when I knew, you know, Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler were, you know, running the show and met uh, Mark Davis, I mean, all that stuff. When you meet those people at the top and they're made of the right stuff and they're saying the right things, you know, that's trickling down to the rest of the people. So I think that's where it really started. Saw that. Uh, I knew what those guys were all about and meeting Mr. Davis, you know, Guy just wants to win. He loves winning. I mean, that's what he's all about, and that's that's what I've always been about in my career. So it was kind of a good match when we uh, when we all met for the first time. You mentioned you were only in for a day. It was a controversial day for a lot of people. A lot of people had a lot to say about Jimmy G, but it feels like they always have a lot to say about you. For you, do you hear that noise? Like, how do you block that out? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, you definitely hear it. But, um, you know, I was just saying the other day, when people are talking about you, good, bad, and different, whatever it is, that's that's a good thing. It's when they stop talking about you and kind of push you off to the wayside. That's when you should be worried. So no, it's uh I mean when you got when you got haters or whatever, it means you're doing something good. So that's kind of the motto I've lived by and it's done well for me. So I'm just trying to keep coming in here, keep winning games for this organization and good things will happen. I mean, you mentioned doing something good. You did something really badass with USAA. Tell everybody about like you got an experience of a lifetime. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, yeah, it was uh got to go up to Nellis Air Force Base up here in Vegas. Uh USAA and Team Whistle, they uh they partnered up with the Salute to Service uh for the NFL and really just gave me the full experience of what these Thunderbird pilots go through on a daily basis. I mean, uh I only got to fly for about an hour, I think it was, but it was it kicked my ass, man. <laughs> if I'm just being <laughs> honest. It was uh it was a great experience though. I went hit the nine G's almost blacked out in the in the pilot seat. I uh, got to fly the plane for a little bit. So it was it was everything I was hoping for. Yeah, some of the video footage of it, y'all, is, is rather amazing. Uh, Jimmy, love hanging out. Look, the last time I got to hang out with a player from my beloved Raiders, we uh, we got tattoos. Max and I got tattoos. So you and me, like, we scheduling a tattoo, buddy? Like, we're just going to go out there, get some uh, printed on our bodies? What are we doing this thing? Uh, maybe, man. I mean, <laughs> if it's good mojo, I've never gotten a tattoo. So that'd be my first one. We'll have to, we'll have to think of something good if we're going to do that. Man, if, if you get a tattoo and then all of a sudden the Raiders play well, I'm superstitious enough that that means for the rest of my life, every year I'd have to get one. I'm not sure we can go down that journey. <laughs> Jimmy, appreciate it, man. Best of luck this season. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate you. Definitely. Thanks for having me, Jason.